Hey everyone, it's Tracking Pat, and in this basic video, we're going to talk about how to cut slots in the DPM milling machine. Using the SX control, uh, first thing I'm going to do is do a straight slot with just a milling event using a 3A end mill, and then I'm going to make a half inch slot using a profile with that same 3A end mill to clean it out and make it wider. So to get started, let's go to the program mode. So here I am at the beginning and it's asking what do I want to do for my first event and I'm just going to select mill. We don't use mill a lot in here because generally we connect the dots, right? We go from one mill to the next mill to an arc and stuff. So because of the point here where I'm only going from one place to another, it can be a straight milling event, okay? So it's asking me where do I want to begin. So I'm going to begin at minus two and minus one. Use my Z rapid of 50 and my depth of a hundred thousandths. My other end is going to be a positive two. I'm going to keep the Y and the Z the same. There's no Conrad because it's not connected to anything. In this part, I'm going to use tool center to cut this. So that would be zero. Put my RPM at 3000. My Z rate at five and my machining rate at 10. And I'm going to use tool number three. So if I push look, you're just going to see a straight line below the zero point. Okay, so now I'm going to change modes. I'm going to go to run mode, push start, push go, right? Goes to its home position and it asks me to turn on the spindle again, make sure that I got the right tool in there, which I do. I'm going to use tracking to make sure I'm in the right place. I'm going to dial it over here. I like to stop just above the part and make sure the number I see there looks like what I got here. It makes me feel a lot better. And at this point I know I'm good so I can hit the stop button, go to CNC run and hit go. Okay, so there you go. You see how to do a standard slot with the same size cutter. So now I'm going to show you how to make a wider slot using a smaller end mill. We're going to do that by using a profile. So first thing I'm going to do is go back to the control. Here I am. I am in the program mode. My event is here, but I'm going to use the back key to bring it back to where I can use it. And in this case, I'm going to actually delete it. So I'm going to go to profile and you'll notice in here I have the choice of a circle, a rectangle or an irregular shape. We're going to use a rectangle. And when I do a rectangle, it wants two opposite corners. So a rectangle like so, or like so. And by the way, even though uh, it sounds funny, a lot of people screw this up. A square is a rectangle, okay? So here it's asking my first corner. My first corner is gonna be minus two and a quarter. And my first uh, Y dimension is gonna be minus 0.75. Then my opposite end is gonna be two and a quarter, positive and minus one and a quarter. That's gonna give me my width, okay? Now it's asking me for my Z rapid, same as before. My end is the same as before, okay? And the Conrad is what's gonna turn this into an oval, right? So I'm gonna put 0.25 in my Conrad. I'm going to go counterclockwise direction, and that allows me to put my tool on the left so I can climb mill this. Number of passes, just one. I don't need a finish cut. Put my feed rate back in here, same as before, using tool number three. So when I push the look button, you'll see that you have an oval slot. It looks pretty much like this, but it's actually larger, right? So I'm gonna go back, hit the mode key, go to run mode, push start. Again, I'm gonna push go. It's gonna tell me to make sure the right tool's in there, turn my spindle back on. Just to make sure, we're gonna use tracking again. So I'm gonna bring this thing over to where it should begin. Looks good to me, so I'm gonna hit stop, CNC run, and go.
And there you have it, a half inch wide slot using a 3 8 end mill. Now I should also point out a couple more things. First of all, if I had to make a slot that was larger than what the end mill could cover by itself, then I would have done it as a pocket so that it would have wiped out the middle as well. But knowing that the tool was big enough and at least bigger than half of the slot, it makes sense to use a profile because it happens faster. So this should give you a pretty good idea. One last point, if I wouldn't have put a Conrad in there, I would have gotten a 3 16 radius in the corners instead of a full oval. So I used the Conrad to make it into a full oval. But this should get you on basic slots, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.